When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. Good morning, Tara. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Thank you for coming on with us this morning. Oh, no problem. Thank you guys for helping me out with this. Yeah. W- will you explain to everyone just kind of like what you wrote us? Yeah. Um, so basically, um, my ex and I were dating for a few years. Mm-hmm. And we broke up, but like we've been keeping it cordial. We're still like friends. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were together for years. Yeah. But I have made it crystal clear that we are not getting back together. Like, ever, ever, ever. Like, the Taylor Swift song, like, we're done. <laughs> I was just, just thinking that. too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. so, like, you know, I, like, I mean, I couldn't have, I have made it clearer, but we're still friends. Mm-hmm. And his mom reached out to me and told me that I need to completely, like, stop talking to him and block him out of my life. Because I'm stringing him along and giving him hope. What? Oh, wow. And, like, she said, like, my mom should even have to block him because he's, like, obsessed <gasps> at looking at glimpses over our lives. That sounds like a you problem and not a Tara problem. Yeah. Exactly. Like, if if there's something unhealthy about our relationship, then he needs to own up to it and take care of that. Because I'm not doing anything to string him along. I've been so sincere and honest and clear and upfront about everything. <laughs> and, like, it's frustrating mm-hmm. because she has butted into his life before and caused him a lot of problems. Because, like, so he struggled with, like, alcohol mm-hmm. and addiction. And he was working on, like, cleaning up his act and not drinking anymore. And she was, like sneak alcohol and dismiss like his addiction Mm. and like keep him from getting clean and keep him from like you know getting to where he wanted to and reaching his goals in life because she's such a meddler and like she thinks she knows best wow wow that sounds kind of toxic yeah i was gonna say she is not being a good not helping mom right for sure so when she's reached out to you like what have you responded to her in any way or yeah, like, I didn't put up with her. Like, I, I shut it down immediately. I was like, you can talk to your son about this, but do not talk to me. And I and I told her to stay out of our relationship. Mm. If she is caught, she can speak with her son. But I'm not in the relationship anymore, and I don't have to deal with her anymore. Did she play a part so, in your breakup? I mean, yeah, like, she was one of the reasons why I broke up with him because, you know, I'm like, I think that you should, like, having a good relationship with your parents is wonderful, and I'm all for supporting that. Mm -hmm. But, like, whenever you're letting your mom, like, keep you from reaching your goals, and whenever you're letting your mom allow you to, like, keep abusing alcohol, and, like, it wasn't even just the alcohol. It was, like, everything in his life. It was, like, he would have this plan, and we'd be, like, in sync, and we'd be working together on our goals. And then, like, his mom would swoop in, and he'd be like, oh, but my mom did this. And Mm -hmm. I'm like... Like, that shouldn't be stopping us. So, Tara, I guess my question now is, what do you need our help with? So, basically, like, I'm trying to figure out if, like, like, I think that I should tell him what his mom is doing, especially because it has been such a big problem in his past. Oh, okay. But I don't know if I should just, like, stay out of it and, like, not get between the two of them. Or if I should, like, step up and say something and be like, hey, you need to, like, know this is what your mom is doing and saying. Or if I should just, like, completely end the relationship and and give in to what she wants and just be like, you know, maybe that's what's best for him. I don't know. Like, I don't want to do something like because, like, I'm being selfish. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know. I, I guess I'm those are, like, the three things I've been, like, toying with. Like, what should I do? Is he aware of, like, does he recognize how much his mother has been meddling in his life and kind of messing things up? I feel like if he was really, truly aware of what a problem his mom has been for him, then I don't I don't think he would be letting it keep happening. Yeah, I don't think that he's fully aware. And I've tried to, like, tell him and it's hard. Like, it's his mom and he is very close to her and it's just. It's a tough situation because she's not good for him. He, to, to your knowledge, he is unaware that his mom is coming to you and saying 
you need to, sh- need to cut him out. You need yeah. to stop stringing him along. Blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, he has no idea. Like, oh, okay. He wouldn't be happy if he knew that she did that. Mm. So I just don't know if like I should tell him or if I should stay out of it or I should just block him out of my life. Like if I am being a problem, which I don't think that I am, because I've been very honest and upfront about everything. Well, Tara, thank you for being very open with us about it. I think uh, we, we have already gotten some people that are texting in uh, some suggestions on maybe how you can present this to the mom and, and your ex-boyfriend. But, you know, it, it's <laughs> their ex. He's an ex for a reason. I, I You know, it's always it, we, we've said for so many times that it's good to have a healthy relationship with an ex. But, yeah, this is. This is different, so we'll we'll see if we can help you out here, okay? Yeah, this is tough. Yeah. Hopefully, y'all can help me figure out what to do because I just feel torn. All right, bless your heart. All right, Tara. Well, hey, thank you. Keep your chin up and uh, keep us. Uh, we, we keep us posted on what happens. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll let you know. All right, thank you, Tara. Now, Crystal is kind of dishing out some tough love. An ex mm. is an ex for a reason. Mm-hmm. If you don't have small children together, there's no reason to stay in contact. I think you are stringing him along. Why else would his mother reach out? You may not think so, but she feels as if her son is still having hopes. Yeah, you know, there is that thought where yeah. the, really the only way, and in my mind, the only way that she can move be past this is to legit just say block them on social media and, and block them out of your life and, and just move on yeah 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 if there's no no other reason for it's it is difficult to go from dating for a couple of years to just transition to friends and have both be completely on board and fine with that he mm-hmm. may be telling her tara that you know hey no it's fine we're cool we're friends Right. But then a different tune to his to mom, his mom. feels, you know, a different a different way behind closed doors. All right. If you've been in this situation, you can provide some expertise. If like you had a a parent of an ex kind of continue to be a part of your life. Uh, we'd love in to, not a good way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 502-571-9970. All right, group therapy. So Tara reached out. She's still friends with her ex, even though uh, she's made it clear they're never getting back together. But now his mom reaching out to her saying, look, you need to stop stringing him along. And so now she's kind of like, hey, do I tell my ex that his mom is meddling like this? Yeah, so there's several people on different sides of this. Vicky says, if you're just friends with him, then talk to him. Mm-hmm. Like, he should probably know what his mom is doing. Find out if his mom is just trying to get you out of his life completely, or if he is still obsessing over you. Sounds like his mom is trying to control his life and shame on her for enabling his addiction of alcohol. When you talk to him, you will know then if all strings to him need to be cut. Mm. Hugh- and then Amy said, I don't agree with blocking him. I understand the mom looking out for her son and being worried about him, but they need to be adults. Tara set the expectations straight right from the beginning, and if the boyfriend can't see that, then that's on him. Mom needs to butt out. Tara did the right thing to shut the mom down and not entertain her meddling, but I think it's good that they can stay friends. Yeah, Hugh tweeted us and said, sounds like Tara isn't telling people the truth. Um, And then questions, has she hooked up with him since they broke up? Like, hmm. It doesn't sound like it. She doesn't. seemed very adamant, like, we will never, ever, ever, ever get back together. Yeah, very Taylor Swift. Like, Brittany says, um, you know, speaking from experience, where my ex and his adult grown daughter have the same type of relationship, you will never be number one in his life as long as that is going on and he doesn't choose to see it. So it never ends well. So that's, a, I guess, a more of a caution flag of separating yourself from this. Yeah, and Jared is just kind of pointing out, too, maybe he's telling her one thing, but telling his mom how terribly in love with her he still is and is really messing her. That That is one thing that could be happening, mm-hmm. and I think that's why maybe Tara has a conversation with him about it and just tries to get to the root of it. And if they can really still be friends, and it's fine and healthy for both. 
I, this may be an instance where I don't think they maybe can be friends. It doesn't sound like that they should be. Yeah. Honestly. So that's, it sounds like he's got a lot of stuff going on. He's yep. He's got some demons he's trying to battle. And I don't know if her staying in his life, especially if she said she broke up with him. So not sure if he wanted the breakup. And he may still be processing that. And this may not be helpful for him to move on if they're still you know, kind of connected. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh man. <laughs> I know that's maybe it is, not what she wanted right, to hear. Right, right, exactly, yeah, exactly. Sometimes you, you have to hear it from strangers. I know, I, I, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyways, all right, well, hey, um, if you've got a comment and you weren't able to get through or, or you think about it later, you can always follow back up on your, um, uh, on, on Facebook, at Ben and Kelly Show. Can we just share Lisa rolling in with a little condescending pat on my head? Kelly, love your sweetheart so much. Hooking up is completely separate from getting back together. Well, okay, but I, she, <laughs> listen, we talked to Tara. It sounded like none of that was happening. Like she was completely done with all of that. That's uh, all I'm saying. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> Tara, good luck. Keep us posted. That is group therapy.